Good afternoon, it's Dr Tess Crawley here, clinical and forensic psychologist and happy Father's Day to you all. Um, very quick video today, obviously I'm sure most of you are um, either doing something special for um, someone in your life or perhaps trying to avoid Father's Day today. So I will keep this a brief message. Um, I know some people find Father's Day quite a difficult day to get through. Um, I have um, been working quite a bit uh, with fathers lately in um, the peri perinatal work that I do um, and that's why I've chosen today to post this live to our perinatal psychology page, Hobart Perinatal Psychology. Um, so perinatal mental health, uh, typically we're referring to working with mums and bubs and often that's the shorthand that we use when we talk about the work that we do in perinatal and infant mental health. Um, but of course we work really hard as mental health professionals in the perinatal field to make sure that we um, keep dads in mind and that we include dads in the work that we do wherever we can. Um, and so recently I've been doing some work with a number of dads in our practice um, and I use the, the term dads to collect them all as a group when in actual fact a number of them are not yet dads. Um, so men who are in relationships where fertility is an issue, um, men who are, are in relationships where there's been um, the loss of a child or the loss of a pregnancy. Um, so for all of those men out there who are struggling with the journey to becoming a father and um, or indeed struggling with adjusting to having become a father, um, we certainly do a lot of work around supporting those men and supporting their relationships um, as well as working with the mums involved or the women involved as well. So it's important for us to, to keep in mind that for um, as a community, we assume postnatal depression um, is a women's issue, um, when in actual fact, uh, about one in every 10 um, father in a relationship where there's a postnatally depressed mum, about one in every 10 of those dads is also depressed. Because of course, dads are the ones that are in the background there um, trying to hold everything together. They're worried about their partner who's depressed. They're adjusting to being a dad. They're worrying about the, the child. And of course, they're often uh, struggling to keep all of those balls in the air while also having to work um, during the day, usually with minimal sleep. So, so the dads, especially in those early stages of parenthood, the dads really have a lot on their plate. Um, and as a society, we sometimes tend to forget that. And we often look first, as we often should, of course, because mums have also had you know the, the physical um, <laughs> the physical um, impact of pregnancy and childbirth um, whereas the dads um, don't have that necessarily but of course but they do have um, all the other psychological elements of adjusting to parenthood or the grief associated with the loss of a pregnancy um, just as much as mums do so sitting out outside seemed a really good idea till just now um, we um, also acknowledge that uh, where there is a birth trauma um, or even a healthy delivery of a baby, sometimes dads find witnessing the birth of their child to be more traumatic than they anticipated that it would be, um, especially where there is a trauma, um, like a birth trauma and mum has some injuries as a result or baby has some injuries as a result um, or where there's an emergency caesarean section that was um, obviously not planned um, when things are out of control. So a lot, of, a lot of the issues that the dads that we deal with um, are struggling with is a sense of powerlessness, um, not being in control of what's going on um, during the pregnancy because of course it's not happening in their body, um, not, not having any control over what goes on at the birth um, and uh, feeling they don't have a voice in that arena and also um, um, feeling sometimes a little bit overlooked and like they're not on a log after the baby has been born. So it's really important for us as mental health professionals in the perinatal field to keep dads in mind and to make sure that dads are coping as well with all of those, those um, tricky aspects to their journey towards parenthood. So to all of you men, all of you men who wanna be dads, all of you men who are dads, all of you men who would um, dearly love to be dads but are grieving, um, we send you our, our very best wishes for Father's Day today and hope that you and your family have, um, have found something enjoyable um, to spend time together doing today. 
I'll leave it for that for that today. Sorry, I'm tripping over my words after being blown about by the wind. Um, so if you're liking these videos, don't forget to um, give the video a like or a love and let me know. The only way I know which topics are appealing to people um, is, is on the, the numbers really. So the numbers of likes and loves that particular videos get or the numbers of views that particular video gets gives me an idea of which topics are appealing most to people so I know whether to expand on those in future videos. So don't forget to let me know if you're enjoying the videos and feel free to share with your friends. Um, this has been live to my Hobart Perinatal Psychology page on Facebook today. We do have a separate website for Hobart Perinatal Psychology, which is hobartperinatalpsychology.com. Um, we have three services under the umbrella of Dr. Tess Crawley and Associates. So there's our main um, uh, service, which is Dr. Tess Crawley and Associates, where we see um, clients of all backgrounds and ages. Um, we have a, spe a specialised or, or a, a special interest area um, in perinatal and infant mental health, which is Hobart Perinatal Psychology, and also our special interest area in rural mental health, which is Rural Psychology Tasmania. So feel free to have a look at all those websites and Facebook pages um, and follow them if you're interested in those areas. Um, if you're following or if you're watching this on YouTube, of course, it will go to my main YouTube channel as they all do and you can subscribe to that to get notifications of future videos. That's it for today, this Father's Day 2017. I hope you're having a lovely day wherever you are um, and enjoy the rest of your Sunday. Bye bye for now.